What's up everyone? Hope you're all having a fantastic day. Today we're going to be doing a POV photo shoot with these two lovely ladies, Marijke and Danielle. Uh, today I'm just going to be showing you my creative process and uh, see how we talk to the models and how we can be... I'm just going to show you my creative process and how we speak to the model and how we communicate. And uh, behind the scenes is going to be Ryan again. He's going to help us with that and then as well as this nifty little thing um, to give you the POV. So uh, we are in the lovely White River uh, in Mpumalanga. Uh, we are here in a, this beautiful uh, plantation and uh, hopefully we can get some nice images. So without any further ado, let's get into the video. Because at the start, usually I start my photo shoots by doing a warm up, a few warm up shots. Uh, it's just like anything else, you need to get into that creative flow. So, what I like doing to get into that flow is to basically make the warm model just move and walk and um, just capture some natural mo movement and motion. And usually, those turn out quite good. So, basically, what I'm explaining here to Danielle is to just stand on her toes and to cross over walk. Now it's very important that you should not be afraid to show the model what you want or what you're looking for. Usually words don't communicate or convey the idea that you have as well. So to definitely don't be afraid to act out what you want. Now the second tip that I have for you is when you're shooting at sunset or in golden hours, most photographers call it, sometimes you get the best results by using backlight. So what that means is that you have your subject and the sun is coming from behind the subject, just like in this photo with Marika here. And usually if you have something like a tree or anything like that in the background, usually they will bloom nicely in the light and uh, those photos will come out awesome. Without me realizing it, um, the <laughs> GoPro memory card is only a two, gig two gigabyte micro SD card and we filled that one up. So for the rest of the video it's not going to be POV, however Ryan is still going to be taking the uh, behind the scenes video for us so hopefully that's not too bad. So yeah. While the ladies are changing, uh, just decided to ask you guys if at any point during this video you like what you see or like the content. Please don't hesitate to like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. And yeah, let's get back to the shoot. next segment I want to emphasize how important it is to get hero shots. Now how you do that is basically you lower your angle and you shoot from a level that's lower than eye level. There's a big difference between taking a photo from eye level and then one from lower down. Peter McKinnon used to call it the tourist photo which means that any tourist can go anywhere and take a photo at eye level but what you want to do is you want to change up the angles and get nice shots and the best way to start that is by just lowering yourself down to the ground. Easy as that.
Now the thing that you see throughout the video is it's very important to give your model feedback. Now what that means is when you take a few shots and you like something, show them how good it looks. Not all the time, but just enough to boost their confidence because a lack of confidence does show in photos and usually that's when the photos look average. Confidence carries over in the photo and the more confident your model is, the better the photos will look. Now the next important one is to get close up or detailed shots. Usually these are straightforward, just in front, normal portrait photo, nothing to it. But when the other photos don't work out, these ones are usually the ones that save you. And then lastly, don't be afraid to chat and make jokes with the model. It's very important that you get their natural emotion as well, just like these photos of Mareka. Usually these photos with a natural laugh is what the clients like the most, and those in-between moments are so important to capture. So tell jokes, but don't put away the camera. I think it's becoming a recurring theme on my channel where stuff just doesn't work out where we planned it. So like for this shoot, I went into the mindset of having a POV video, borrowed my brother's GoPro, and then I simply forgot to check if it's tilted up and I never checked how big the memory card was. But that's how we learn. Luckily we had Ryan to take the behind the scenes photos and I still think the video came out pretty well. Um, and as well as the photos are incredible. So I'm glad I could share this with you. And if you stuck around this long, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe. And as well as check out my Instagram channel at, at kuniakraman underscore photography. As well as in the description, I'm going to link Danielle and Maraika's Instagram. So be sure to check them out and give them a follow as well. And uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Cheers.